Once you guys got another video, why do you need a Microsoft account? I get this question quite a bit from people and also people just don't understand the purpose of a Microsoft account and just want to do away with it altogether. But let's just assume that you are purchasing a Microsoft Office product like this. For instance, Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus Key. This product is owned by Microsoft and of course you're going to need to be able to download the software and install this properly onto a computer. So if you're buying a key like this, it doesn't come with any software and this is where you're going to need to have a Microsoft account to be able to download that software officially from Microsoft. And this is what I'm going to show you today. Also, if you're looking for other products on CD Keys House, who's a sponsor of this video, then the links will be in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and you'll get a juicy discount of 30% on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Now, after purchasing Office 2021 or any other product, you should first go to the office.com forward slash setup and sign in with your Microsoft account. If you have a product key, enter it there and link this to your account with Office. Then you can download and install Office 2021 on your PC or Mac. So I'm at this website here because I already have the activation and I've already tied it to my Microsoft account. So I can go to this site and sign in here and download the product from here. This information will be linked in the video description and this will give you information about what you should be doing when purchasing Office products. I see so many people that don't tie it to their Microsoft account and what happens is when they reinstall Windows, they go to reinstall uh, Office and they don't know where to get it from and it doesn't activate. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sign in to our Microsoft account, clicking on sign in right here. And what this will do is give us access to our subscriptions. So that will send you a key code to your phone if you've tied your phone to your Microsoft account, which you should do for security. And once they send that, it will basically sign you right in. Once you've signed right in, you will be at this page. This will show you all of the devices that are connected to your account. And I can see my one right here on my computer. I'm going to go to subscriptions right here. And this will then give me information about all the products that I've purchased and that I'm going to be using on my computer. So you can see I have Office Professional 2021 uh, Plus here. So this will give me the access to download the files that I need. Now, if you're watching other videos on YouTube telling you to download scripts and all this sort of stuff, they are illegal and you don't want to be doing that. This is the proper way of basically activating Office and also downloading the software. On the choose a version option right here, you can use the default version or you can download the 32-bit, 64-bit or even an offline installer. This will download all the installer files so you can install it and you don't have to keep downloading it at a later date. So I'm going to download a version right here to the computer. Now, before we go ahead and install that, if you haven't got a Microsoft account and you haven't set up one, then you'll need to go to this place, which is called setup.office.com and basically get started right here. If you already entered a product key and you've installed it on your PC before, then you can see the link right here and it will take you to the page where I showed you before. So basically you need to set up an account right here. This is where you'd put in your Microsoft account. If you haven't got one, you're going to need one to be able to activate that product and tie it to your Microsoft account. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to install it and activate it again in the future if you ever reinstall Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the executable file and it will then go off and download all the required files from Microsoft servers and download and install them onto this PC. And this will be the same for any version of Windows. You can see all the programs on the icons there that it's going to give you when you're downloading this package. It's going to give you all of these and install them on your PC. So if you need Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook and all that stuff, it's going to be downloaded. And there we go. It says you're all set. So now we're going to need to configure our uh, office suite and basically get it set up on the computer. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to set up Outlook because that's what I use for my system. So I'm going to go ahead and open Outlook and you can see there is a version called Outlook Classic. That's the one I want to install on this PC or configure because I don't want the new version. 
So what I'm going to do here now, it says welcome to Outlook and we're going to click on continue here. And this is going to then ask us to put in our product key to activate, as you can see here, activate office right here. So you're going to need to put in your email account again and then click on next. And what this will do is ask for your password and it will try to activate your version of office right here and tie this to your Microsoft account. So in the future, you won't have to worry about it because it will be all of the account details and files will be tied to your Microsoft account. So again, what I'm going to do here is put in my email address right here because I want to set up Outlook. Click on Connect and it's going to ask us to uh, basically choose what we want to set up. So you choose whatever option. Say I want to do IMAP right here. Your settings are going to be different to mine because I'm with a different uh, hosting company for my email. So I'm just going to put those details in what they require me to put in put my password for that account and this will connect to the server and pull down all of the emails that I've sent and received from people. So that's what it's going to do right here. It will take a bit of time depending on how many emails that you've sent and received in the past. So it's going to pull all that down. You can even set this up for your mobile as well. And I'm not going to bore you with that, but that's basically what's going to happen here. It will take a bit of time. I'll leave the email client open and it will pull all those down. If you look on your PC right here, you can now see because it's now physically signed us into our Microsoft account from a local account. It's gone straight into a Microsoft account and you can see it's given us access right here. And this is because it needs you to be signed in at that point to download it. Once you've done, you can actually sign back out and go into a local account by going to your info if you want to. But if you want to stay in the Microsoft ecosystem, you will need to stay signed in and you will have access to all of the features that Microsoft are offering. Now, a lot of people get paranoid about all of this and they want to stay on a local account. And that's because they probably don't use, say, Microsoft products. But once you've set it up, you can put your account on your PC back to a local account. But at the end of the day, your office suite will be tied to your Microsoft account. So if you don't like to use a Microsoft account, then you're not going to be using any of Microsoft's products. So access to Microsoft services like I've just showed you, like Office Suite or OneDrive, if you're using OneDrive integration on your PC, you're not going to be using any of that. Any sort of Microsoft Store purchases, you'll need a Microsoft account to purchase and download those apps, games and other uh, digital content from the Microsoft Store and then activate those products. Any sort of Xbox Live or gaming, you won't be able to do any of that unless you have a Microsoft account. You will definitely need it for that as well. And any other sort of services that you're going to need a Microsoft account for, like, say, Outlook.com, your email, Skype, uh, Bing, or MSN, or any sort of family safety uh, sort of features that are built into Windows, you will definitely need a Microsoft account for those as well. So I hope this answers your questions. Why do you need a Microsoft account? Some people get a bit paranoid about it, but if you're in the Microsoft or Windows ecosystem, it's not a big deal at the end of the day because you are going to need it if you're using any of those products. Also, if you're using nowadays in 2025 AI products, you're definitely probably going to need a Microsoft account. Anyway, I hope this answers all your questions. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Links in the video description. Bye for now.